Hi there, Emma here. I'm doing a um, uh, ju finished jewelry video. So I thought I'd start with my earrings. Um, these were made with uh, check glass beads and um, I just love check glass beads for making earrings because the, the beads are so stunning. Part of the reason why I like doing them with that is I hate using up all the beads so if I just use two, then I get to keep the rest. <laughs> uh, silly. Anyway, <laughs> so here is this set with like a, a rondelle and a bit of a sweater. There. Yeah, so it's really pretty beads and these I made a while ago before when I was just getting started with jewelry making so I've since ordered some some better earring posts and um, and uh, eye pins so I can make some a lot nicer but I mean these are still beautiful and I mean these beads I bought 10 years ago and they still look awesome that's the other reason why I love check glass beads. They're just so interesting. I love these. Beautiful. Let's see if I can get a good view so you can get the... These are... They look blue here, but they're actually like a teal color. Let's see if we can get a better... Uh, I think the camera is adjusting the color. Let me just put another blue in here. It's one of my paintings. <laughs> there, now you get the color. The teal color. Oh, no, it's still showing a bit blue. It is definitely teal. But, oh, I love these. And then we have these. These remind me of the ocean, the beautiful white sea foam and the, the greens. And these little um, melon beads, I just love. They're so, they look like they have like a gold finish on them. They're so beautiful. So that's those, and I also wanted to show you this one. I just made the one because I was just, I had um, placed an order for some check glass beads, and I got this beautiful bead cap with it. There was a few bead caps, different colors, and I just couldn't get over it. So I right away grabbed a bunch of beads and started putting things together. So. I love the idea of using orange because you don't often see orange in bead making. So, and what I did was a quick, quick wire wrap, where you, at the bottom, just a piece of wire, you twist it up in any design. You can flatten it so that it goes flat with the bottom of the, the bead, and then attached it to an earring. So that's those. Super fun, and I wanted to show you one of my bracelets that I made 10 years ago. So when I first started um, doing this, I saw some beautiful, beautiful uh, leather wrap bracelets on Etsy and thought, oh, I'd love to make some. So I watched a few videos and went to Michael's and got this leather and all these beads. And uh, yeah, just played with it and did my own design. I didn't, you know, think I had to follow any plan or anything. And I had ordered a bunch of um, Pandora beads from uh, eBay. And I didn't know how to knot the bracelet. I didn't know how to do a barrel knot or anything. So I just <laughs> put a clasp on it and then took the leather, wrapped it around, and stuffed it in the Pandora bead, 
and added some glue and you can see the glue is still there it's pretty wild like it's it's starting to get loose a bit and of course the this is all tarnished and then I did the same on the other side but I also added a spacer into the loop as well and 10 years and this has not come out I'm trying to think I think this is what I used. Dazzle tack. So, yeah, so this is, there's crystals and halite and turquoise, which is probably halite dyed. And this is cinnabar, fake cinnabar. And these are supposed to be turquoise too, but they're probably pressed halite or something. But yeah, I love this thing. It's so soft and beautiful. So that is from 10 years ago. Then I have this one that I just... This one's a little more recent. But again, I have to fix this now because I know how to do barrel knots thanks to Kelly at Kelly's Bead Boutique. <laughs> so this is what my knots used to look like. Here, let me see if you can... Yeah, so this is, again, I didn't have access to buttons either. So I took a charm and I bent it a bit and stuffed the leather in through the charm to create a button. And then this leather that I bought was super hard because it's so thick. And uh, yeah, so that's how that was. And I just added some... check glass beads the man in the moon so that's that one and then there's this one this one probably made I don't know four or five years ago has a beautiful uh, gold uh, pine cone and again, I didn't know how to do knotting, so I just went ahead and, and you can see I even have the button upside down <laughs> to the charm. But it's all part of the learning process, right? So I'll show you what I did too. So I did a double knot and of course I didn't leave enough space. So this is starting to come undone. So I went ahead and put two crimp beads on the little tassel in so they wouldn't pull through. Then I have these. These I wanted to use up some of my uh, Pandora beads and so what I did was, oh, it's not a Pandora bead, so I went ahead and just put it on a piece of leather and so I added, um, these are, um, what do they call those big beads? Pony beads. So I added these two pony beads in the spacers, and then I took a bead cap. So you can kind of see it's not completely closed. A bead cap to hold it so it stays in the middle of the bracelet. And then I did that same technique where you put your leather through a spacer and put some glue. You can kind of see the the glue there with the clasp on it. And then the toggle is on the other side. So just like so that. That's one of them. Let's do that. And then this one I had a a wooden bead that's a Buddha in the same technique in thinner cord. So these are great for stacking too. Then we have this one. Beautiful dolphin fin tail. And then the class on this one, these are really neat. They're like anchors 
And then you just hook it in like that. There you have it. This one's really cute. It's a penguin. And I put it on blue leather. And there's the heart clasp. And another another Buddha head. And this one I did another a different uh, thing too. So here, these are these beautiful, beautiful um, be, uh, wooden beads that I love. So what I did with this one is I also added some beads to the edges and used the uh, crimp beads to hold them in place. And then um, I had this own charm and I just strung it and used and and as you can see I'm learning to do barrel knots now it's not quite the way it's supposed to be done <laughs> don't tell Kelly but and you can see it on that one too but uh, yeah so I just take this button and there you go it There. something like that and then we have this one I did two strands and so this is a, a loop on this side and then it ends on this side and I just wrapped it onto this anchor uh, end and put it through the um, spacer beads so again you just do that and that's what you have so some neat ideas that you can do just playing around now this one i used suede and a crystal the suede was actually uh easier to thread and easier to get the uh, crimp beads closed on it so yes. but got some nice stuff going and then this one is super thin on this one I put a lobster claw and in this hole here I added a little dangly spacer and there's some nice better light here there that's better. And here's another one. Same idea, but different closure. So those were done probably about four years ago. I made a bunch and uh, they all got scooped up except for those. Those were the leftovers. And then just recently I wanted to test out um, some techniques for a workshop I'm doing for teenagers and I wanted to make sure they were able to um, do the threading part of this so I uh, just tested it out on these so I didn't put barrel knots or anything this is one of my favorite buttons and if anybody out there knows where to get them please let me know I bought these on Amazon about 10 years ago and I think I may have bought 20 and uh, these are I've got maybe two left that aren't on a bracelet but, so yeah so this one I put the two closures so it will fit any size and this one here's another one with some copper beads and, and then I went ahead this one feels really neat these little beads are soft and I put some skulls beads on it and the skull button and then I did one that's, these are just uh, little 
silver or seed beads. Um, I'm trying to think of the size. The six O's maybe. But let's show you what that looks like. This one turned out really nice. Get some nice bling going on here. And this one is my penny button. So I'm going to do a tutorial on how to turn your pennies or other coins into buttons. And again, this is something I've been doing for 10 years and I have definitely perfected it. And the drilling of the hole, I'll quickly show you the tool that you can use. So I was drilling it with a drill bit and then a Dremel. And depending on the, the metal, sometimes it would be really hard to get through um, and it would scratch up the surface. So I went ahead and bought this. Uh, it, this got really bad reviews. So I went ahead and bought and Actually, I, I can't find those reviews anymore. Um, so I went ahead and bought this. And I cannot believe how easy it is to do these. So definitely I am going to review this tool and um, do a tutorial. Like very soon the stuff's sitting on my desk ready to go. So here is one. I want to do like a kind of um, a royal theme, like the red and the, the really orangey gold. But I don't know, maybe the beads I used are too big. They look it, it looks a little bit I don't know. And then we have I cut these buttons a long time ago. I have a bunch of these. They are so beautiful. I love them. They remind me of the circus. And so this one turned out really nice. The gold with the green. And then this one here is a dragonfly. And this is part of a uh, clasp and uh, toggle. So this is the toggle part. And I often use these. They're so beautiful as... Um, as uh, charms or buttons and uh, it's starting to tarnish a bit and this is what I made these are so cute these hearts I just love them and this is another example too I have white thread and uh, I've tried to match the thread to the leather so that you can't see the thread some people like this design where you see the thread and the and the angle of the thread going in and out. I don't. I prefer to just see the beads. So, so again, that was a test to see how that would turn out. Now for some more. Now these are all current. So this one is lovely star button I got at Kelly's Bee Boutique and these incredible um, check glass beads so the one side it has the silver highlight on the flowers and then the other side doesn't so you can have it both ways you can have it really blingy or you can have it the other way around so this is these are this was the first time using these beads on a bracelet so I find that like they turn really easily I would prefer that they stayed on one side so then you can wear it this way as well so lesson that I learned through this is I'm gonna have to um, go through the bead more than once to hold it in place so then you could do a reversible bracelet and just do that kind of thing and there's a these little this charm I got on Etsy from sugar beads and these beautiful I learned how to do these from some videos on YouTube thank you YouTube and these are just I think they're 
three millimeter check glass beads and I just got some that match the colors so I'll show you this is a um, oh it's a four wrap there's one two three and four so like that and this leather is really uh, stiff so you can see it's really hard to push together and hold and I've tried to condition it and then I just put a spacer and a bead cap on the end to hold it in place for the closure put that one then we have here okay this is a four wrap and this is a mermaid theme bracelet so you have the beautiful blues and then these are incredible these I have to get some more of these because I don't want to give these away <laughs> or sell them they're just incredible they look like you went diving and you found stones at the bottom of the ocean that had all this you know coral and um, patina like stuff growing on it and just so beautiful and then these beautiful gold tiles and then these are the same they've got this beautiful kind of hazy patina on them and the best part of this is this incredible incredible button mermaid button i got these from um Oh, what's her name? I can never remember. Bear Creek Supplies. So I'll post the link. Um, it's bearcreeksupplies.com. And she's a Canadian shop owner. And she has an extensive button supply. Pewter buttons and buttons like this. They're unbelievable. Like they're... The pictures don't even do them justice. Once you get them in your hand and play with them, they're just stunning. So that's that one. The next one is this one has a moose button and has a bit of a rustic feel to it. So I like to, I've basically added all the types of beads I like. So I love these tiles. And then I love these uh, faceted shaped check glass beads. And actually these are, I think they're called caramel. And I, they, as far as I know, I think they're vintage now. And then these stunning, stunning um, melon beads that with the gold finish on them and then the Picasso seed beads just so beautiful so, just amazing now this one was another first time and you can see how my skills at bracelet making have improved over the years. So, when I saw these little bird, uh, they're I think they're called coin beads. 
I went nuts. They are so adorable and they're on both sides with the beautiful copper finish. So I just put some copper seed beads next to them to uh, kind of showcase them. And these beautiful, um, uh, oh, uh, I want to say jade, but I'm not sure. These tiles are like a kind of a misty green color. And then these beautiful check glass beads. And then some silver seed beads. And I think this charm flips the other way. It does, yeah. So I just went ahead and added a little dangly piece under the bird. And then I did it again over here and added a uh, glass melon bead on both sides. So that's that one. <laughs> this, you know, all of these are for sale. <laughs> It just may be harder for me to part with them, so, but, no big, we can get more, there's always more, and that's how I finished it off. For the next one, I got a lot of response from, and actually sold one, like, I want to say in five seconds on Facebook, I posted it and people went nuts. So, this is a four wrap. Uh, yeah, it's a four wrap. Okay. And this is why people went nuts. Keep calm and kill zombies. <laughs> so, I've got the seed beads, the black tiles. The faceted stones, and in between the faceted stones are these beautiful um, uh, skulls, and then these iridescent balls. So yeah, that one went pretty quick. And of course, we have a skull. Ta-da! Button. And then on the end, for the closure, I put those crystal spacers and held it in there with a crimp bead. So yeah. Yeah, I was shocked that, well, it was so popular that I, the lady from um, Sugar Beads, I went back to her and bought a whole bunch more of these. That's where I bought those. So I'll put the link in case you're interested. And the next one is another dark one. Let me see if I've got this right. Okay, I think this is a triple, yeah. Okay. This is a triple wrap. It's a little bigger. I made it for a men's wrist. And it goes like this. So this has a nautical theme. It has these beautiful Picasso finished tiles. And I intersperse them with the black tile. And these beautiful matte silver. And... The closure is a fish hook. Let's open this for you. There, a fish hook. And on the tassel, I've got these silver Heishi beads with these beautiful big bead caps. And I have a pride one or a rainbow one and I had the these um, earrings that had the uh, the rainbow heart on it and um, 
one of them broke and then I lost the other one. So I just took a, a silver bail and glued it on and used it as a charm on this bracelet. And I've got a beautiful star button. I'm going to try and go a bit faster and realize it's this is going quite long. This one was those pony beads that I got. I wanted to try them on a bracelet, but they are differently like misshapen, so you can see how it's bulging. It doesn't quite fit in, but it still looks really cool with this bracelet. And I put this. This is another interesting thing. These buttons, anytime I post pictures of a bracelet with this button and if somebody is requesting a, 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 a bracelet to be made and if there's one with this on it they choose this one every time so I went back and bought a whole bunch of these they're so beautiful the copper with the turquoise patina and this is the some of the last of the blue leather that I bought years ago. Now I bought some more that's a lot softer. So this one is a fun summer one. It reminds me of ice cream. These these beads here. I just love them. I put a nice silver heart and yeah these this leather is so tight that it's hard to create a knot. So I added a crimpy to hold it from the knot from coming undone. And here's another one with a penny on it. So this has like a, a, a turquoise uh, luster for those beads. And there's another Canada button, 1970. And I put a, a rose gold pine cone and some um, pony beads on the end. That one. Here's another one of my favorite kind of ice cream feel <laughs> to it. <laughs> I sold a few of these, that's for sure. Yep, definitely summer at the beach with this beautiful button. Yeah, I have two of them here. And just, uh, these are some of them. The other style of bracelet that I need. And this has a sterling silver mermaid on it and we've got all kinds of stuff going on here with the check glass bead fish and this awesome big closure i like i wanted to try something with multiple strands so that's why i used this because it has the two holes on the toggle as well as the um the other piece so now I think I made it too tight so I'm gonna have to take it apart and there. That one. and I thought I'd show you this one this one's really busy but that was kind of what I was going for Let's see if you can see that better so this is a necklace and I'll show you the different parts to it. So we've got the gold skull and then all kinds of gorgeous shiny beads and lots of gold. So the idea was like this was a treasure that you found at the sea seashore. And what I did was I took like a toggle and clasp and I took the two toggle or two clasps and put them attached them on each end 
and then oh, I'm gonna string it with leather at the back. And then we have this one. There's those turquoise beads or teal, kind of a greeny, but it's not coming up that way. And this is the toggle and clasp I was telling you about with the dragonfly. So it's that one. And we have these. These are so, I think these beads are called sea foam and they're from um, Bead Melee on Etsy and I'll post the link. I'm going to do an unboxing of her stuff. I have stuff still sitting in a bag ready to go for an unboxing. Her beads, she has Toho beads. They're stunning. But So that's a nice kind of summery feel to it. And there's the button. Nice copper button. And then here's another one that I don't want to part with. Try and get this in order here. Okay. So we have these gorgeous green beads. I got these. Uh, these are ones that I had 10 years ago. Have to reorder some more. They're so beautiful. And then these gorgeous gold. And the, these are those balls again that look like they came out of the ocean. They're so beautiful. And then the sea foam seed beads. So there's a four wrap and this beautiful sand dollar. So gorgeous, this button. That's from Bear Creek Supplies. And here's another beautiful summary oh I was just that's a random star I stuck there to see what it looked like these melons are called root beer I just love them they're so gorgeous and they and another mermaid so I love stuff see stuff we're like in walking distance well i mean just at the bottom of the street is the ocean so and here's another mermaid one and i kind of like doing like a theme of finding treasures and mermaids and stuff like that and so that's what these are so i have these like there's uh, I guess they call them bricks. It's like a tile, but it's half a tile. And then these are crazy, these beads. So you can see they're blue, but then on one section, because they're silver lined inside or gold lined, I'm not sure, gold lined, it reflects this light blue color that it's just wild, these beads. And then I did the design of the star in the uh, or the flower design in the seed beads and these as well are iridescent and you can kind of see maybe if i put my hand under you'll see better the each bead has a different um iridescence so like this one is a bit red that one is kind of a blue that one's yellow there's a pink it's like oh so beautiful and then I've got a star on that one and I put some uh, Haishi spacers on the on this like little tassel and then put um a crimp cover for that oh and these I um again are just these tiny tiny three and four millimeter check glass beads and I twist them on a knot, um, head pin and made little dangly things with it. 
And then we have this one. Some more pink, sparkly kind of feel to it. And this one has a silver mermaid button. And she's beautiful too. It's kind of kind of like a um, antique silver. And I put this charm, Dreaming of the Sea. And these danglies are the Czech glass fish and some rondelles and some four millimeters. And I, these are some type of twist. It's a rose gold finish on them. Yeah. Oh. Camera over. We're almost on. We're getting there. Uh, I think this is two bracelets together yet. Okay, this one. So I got I saw these beads, these ones here. Oh, we're out of focus. So I saw these online and right away I thought they look like koi fish. So I wanted to make a bracelet that represented koi fish. I have a huge koi fish tattoo on my arm so I really love it. And then I found these beads and you can't really tell on the camera but they are um, lined in the it they're like a salmon color so I went ahead and made a charm with a fish and added that and a lovely mermaid on the end now this one I tried something different I've got these these are coin beads from check glass beads and I put some wire Actually, it's, it, it was probably from an eye pin, and I just clipped the one piece off the end of the eye pin, and then twisted it to create a loop, and put it through the bead, and then made the second loop, and attached it so that I could do something like this. So I'm not sure if it really works, but it's an experiment and that has a antique uh, star button and this was one of my first ones I made when, when the isolation started so I was making these um, 10 years ago and I showed you the ones I was making and then what happened was I started uh, painting and put my beads away and was painting every day and when the isolation started I was um, doing commissions for dog portraits and when the isolation started painting wasn't fun anymore it felt like work so I thought you know what I need a break from painting I should organize my beads what I have I started pulling everything out and as well about 10 years ago on Etsy there wasn't a lot of Canadian sellers or providing beads check glass beads and um, so I took a look and lo and behold there was all kinds of awesome awesome sellers so shops so this was the first bracelet I made after that so I'm super stoked and it's my this one's not going anywhere. I'm keeping this one. I love these. It kind of has like a rustic mountain feel to it. And these remind me of like um, antique lace. They have a beautiful uh, like silvery patina on them. And then of course the moose representing Canada. And it's got a star button on it. And then I have this one. This one, I want to do a garden theme bracelet. 
because I just love these flower beads. I kind of bought them on spec. They were really pretty when I saw them. And when I got them, I could not believe. If you turn them a bit, they shimmer on the inside of the bead. It's just stunning how beautiful they are. And uh, so I weave them onto the bracelet like I did the other flower one. And again, these were moving around so much and it just, it looked like something was missing. So I took these little, I think they're called pinch beads and I um, put those all around to really highlight it. So I think it turned out pretty good. And there's a surprise in the back. My favorite, a bunny rabbit. I love, this is a pewter button from Bear Creek Supplies and it is awesome. So yeah, you're gonna see this one again. I'm gonna do a Alice in Wonderland bracelet with this bunny rabbit. And then we have some just straight up shiny, colorful ones here. And then there's two in here tangled. So we have a pink and a, a blue. And I did a design with the seed beads. So I put a, a square tile and then silver beads and then the blue beads. And then I created this design and then the flower design in the bottom as well and that has a Celtic button on it and then I did the same with this one only pink and this one has a flower button on it did one for the guys and this one is beautiful silver metallic buttons or uh, beads with the moose button oh, and there's another zombie bracelet and this one has these these um, sea beads are beautiful they have a they're kind of a gray they have like a speckle on it Let's see if we can get closer. So they have a bit of a speckle on it. And where are my guys? The guys are all turned around here. Let me turn it on the other side so you can see them there. And the skulls. So this has turned out really nice. And we only have a few left. And now we've got the beautiful copper metallic ones with the gold button and southwestern style I think there's a heart in there so we'll turn it the right way there's this one you know it was funny these um, silver beads I got probably from eBay and when I started working with them, they're so misshapen. I was like, oh, these are terrible. So I put them away. And then when I, I wanted to do some, this style, the Southwestern silver and, and turquoise. So I pulled them out and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to use them up. Now I love them. I love that they're chunky and weird and different. And it looks like 
you picked up some silver, you know, whatever. They're just little nuggets. So, like, there, that's amazing. <laughs> they look really cool. It looks, I don't know, artistic almost. So, that's cool. And we got a silver button on that one. And we've got a. Is that the. That's the same one. Uh, and this one turned out really nice. This is one millimeter leather that I leather cord that I got as a gift from one of the sellers. I think sugar beads. I had ordered uh, turquoise leather, and it was more green than blue. Um, so I thought, you know, I just sent her a message and said, you know, I'm really sorry I ordered it, but it's just it's not what I wanted. So she said, well, let me send you something. So she sent me this leather. And again, like you can see by my bracelets, they're almost always, the leather is like a rustic-y, antique -y browns and color, dark colors. So I thought, oh, I'm never going to use this shiny metallic <laughs> leather. Well, I have made... This is the last bracelet left with that leather. They all sold and everybody wants them. And I just love this metallic leather, blue leather. So it turned out really nice. And these um, lighthouses I got from Sugar Beads as well. And oh, I put some sparkly um, crystal spacers with the crimp cover and the beautiful antiqued. Uh, button from Kelly's Bead Boutique and you know what you have to if you need buttons that's there are eight of them for five dollars Canadian and the shipping's really cheap um, and if you bundle it together I think three together or more you get a dollar off of each of them so that ends up being 50 cents a button so you can't go wrong with that <laughs> And, oh, these are two. So then we have this one. Look at it. Look at this crazy starfish. I cannot believe this. This, again, so I order all my buttons from Bear Creek Supplies. Like these big chunky buttons. And um, I saw this on the site and I was like, oh, it looks kind of cartoony. I don't know if I like it. So I didn't order it. So she sent me um i don't know if she sent me one or three i can't remember but she sent me one and as soon as i saw it i just went nuts it's massive it's so beautiful all the individual intricate little bumps it looks incredible and it's like like really big and but it's because it's hollow, it's super light, so you forget you even have it on. And it's just beautiful. And I love trying different colors. So I wanted to put yellow on something. And I have some orange beads. I wanted to put orange beads on a bracelet. So this is my attempt at putting yellow beads on a bracelet. And you know what? I love it. I think it's so cool. And then we have this one is our, I thought I'd try both kinds of uh, skulls on one bracelet and with a matching uh, seed beads. And I love these seed beads. These are check glass beads as well. I think I got these on Amazon. And this beautiful silver button and then I just quickly show you the Nova Scotia bracelets again because I mentioned this in the video in the comments so when the um, isolation started we had a Canada's worst mass murder happen close by and um, it's still 
really emotional. But, so I was inspired to make these bracelets to, um, to remind us that, you know, we can get through things and support each other. And the saying started going around Nova Scotia strong and, oh, sorry, I can't see it here. Um, Nova Scotia strong. So, yeah, so I started making these bracelets and, um, the, the sale from these bracelets, all of it goes to, um, uh, feed Nova Scotia that way it reaches everybody and the people that use food banks the most are children so nobody should ever be hungry anyway sorry to end on like such a sad note but uh, just wanted to let you know that that's what's going on and so these um, these are guitar picks that are made by treepicks.com and um, for every guitar pick sold, a tree is planted. So I have so far planted 20 trees. <laughs> so I made a Canada one. And a Cape Breton one. So the, the green here is the color of the Cape Breton flag. And of course, Canada is red and white, and Nova Scotia is blue and white. And we also, okay, that's another. Oh, I just did a different style of Nova Scotia. So that's, oh my gosh, that's what I've been busy doing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I know this was a long one. Sorry about that. It shouldn't be <laughs> this long the next time. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, I'll post all the links. And um, if you're interested in any of these bracelets, you can uh, message me in the comments or message me at uh, Facebook at Boho Beads. Uh, boho beach beads and I'll put the link as well um, yeah if you have anything in particular you want to know about or an unboxing most likely I have purchased from them and I am ready to purchase put another order in so and I am getting ready to do a bunch of unboxings as well as um, uh, tutorials so if you have any thoughts on tutorials definitely let me know thanks for watching don't forget to um, like and subscribe bye